Hey guys, I want to do a quick tutorial about the AGM-122 sidearm for the AV-8B Harrier. The sidearm will lock and track to any active radar being pointed in your direction. If you have multiple targets in an area and they all have radar and they're all active, you will not be able to choose the target you are firing on. But nonetheless, this weapon is going to come in handy for you. So the first thing you're going to do is flip on your master arm. You're going to set master mode to air to ground. You hit menu and the stores page. Now you'll notice that in the stores page you can select various stores on the top row. But also on your RWR page we have duplicated data and that's because if you don't have the page up and you need to switch quickly you can go ahead and do so. So for this demonstration I'm not going to use the stores page. Now you can see in front of me I have SA8s and in order to select a sidearm when you have a gun you're going to hit the gun OSD button 5 two times. If you do not have a gun with you, you will see SA in its place and you can just go ahead and select the sidearm. Once it's selected, you will hear a tone. When that tone changes, it means it's locking onto something. And when the targeting reticle on the top of the HUD moves down to the ground, that means it has locked something. You can go ahead and fire. So right now we're just searching. And there's our lock. We fire and we go ahead and turn ourselves a beam of the target so they don't shoot at us. And then you go ahead and unselect SA from OSD5 so you can get rid of the annoying tone it makes. And now we just sit and wait for the target to be checked. And there it is, check. So let's go ahead and turn in and attack that other SA-8. So again, we go ahead and select gun twice, or if you don't have a gun, you'll select SA. You listen for the tone, turn in. Put your nose on the target. There's a lock, Magnum, and she's away. Again, we'll go ahead and turn. So we put the target on our beam. Just trying to trim the aircraft out a bit. And we go ahead and wait for that shack. And there it is, shack. And that's basically it. It's uh, pretty easy to use. The only thing you got to remember is that you need to cycle it in between launching it. Otherwise, the second one will automatically be locked for the first one's target. I'm unsure if this is a bug or not. Um, I'm sure if it is, it'll be resolved soon. But that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys next time.